Guterres has invoked his most powerful diplomatic tool to direct the Security Council to meet over Gaza. He's calling for an urgent ceasefire to avert what he calls a humanitarian catastrophe. Let's cross live to the UN in New York. We're joined now by Kristen Salumi. So, Kristen, put this in context. What does this mean? Yes, well, we have received through diplomatic sources a copy of a letter that the Secretary General has submitted to the Security Council invoking Article 99. This is the Secretary General's equivalent of pushing the panic button. Article 99 in the UN Charter gives him the authority to call for a Security Council meeting for any topic that he views as a threat to international peace and security. It doesn't have to be on the agenda. It doesn't have to be called by a council member. And he is doing so over the situation in Gaza. In the letter, he urges uh, the council to use its power to press for a ceasefire in Gaza, saying that uh, the humanitarian situation cannot be addressed in the current uh, environment, that the situation is uh, at uh, that the humanitarian uh, response is at severe risk of collapse if there is not a ceasefire and uh, more aid is allowed to get in. He uh, is doing this as a majority of council members have actually expressed their support for a humanitarian ceasefire. Uh, however, the council has not. Uh, invoked a resolution calling for a ceasefire. The United States has been very clear in its opposition to doing so, the United States being a veto-wielding member of the Council, as recently as yesterday, said that it does not believe that Council action would uh, help the situation. They instead called for continued negotiations, said that the United States was continuing to work with Israel to improve the situation for humanitarian access on the ground. But uh, as the situation goes from bad to worse, we see the Secretary General uh, invoking this power to press the Security Council to take action uh, that it has been unable to do so far. So this is a pretty significant uh, step by the Secretary General in his entire time as Secretary General since 2017. He has never once used Article 99. This is the first time. So that uh, gives a sense of just how uh, dire the situation is in Gaza. And it comes as we just heard from the Palestinian ambassador to the UN as well. Uh, he came to the stakeout with the members of the uh, Arab group and Organization of Islamic Cooperation to say that they would be going to Washington, D.C. tomorrow to also press U.S. officials for a ceasefire. So what we're seeing from U.N. officials and delegations here at the U.N. is a full court press to try to get a ceasefire uh, and some relief for the people of Gaza. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much, Kristen Salumi. Let's